Hello, I'm Samuel. And I'm Max. Thanks for stopping to look at our infographic and learn a bit about European settlement. As you can see, this infographic was centered around our driving question for this project. What did European settlement mean for all the people involved? The goal of this infographic is to also show the changes and continuities since the time of European settlement in Canada. We came to the conclusion that European settlement meant that trade occurred between all those involved. Although there have been many changes to trade, such what is being traded and how it is occurring, the sense of greed still continues in today's economy. We divided our supporting data into three groups we studied and want to share with you what European settlement meant for them and how today the same sense of greed exists. The first group of people we studied at the time of settlement was the French. We found that they liked to make hats and coats. The second group of people we studied at the time of settlement was the First Nations people. We found that they traded for goods such as food, tools, and weapons. The third group of people we studied at the time of settlement was the British. We found that they created settlements to cultivate different resources. Overall, the concept of supply and demand has remained constant since the time of European settlement. In today's trade, we still see this concept in things such as rare and expensive jewelry. Make sure to check out sources at the bottom of the infographic. Thanks again for stopping and we hope you can see the impact that European settlement had on all the people involved.